waters area, you are now making them. So we are taking it more or less to so Okay. This is the existing building, the one one the hexagonal shape over there. Okay. It's yes. an existing. It's okay, so already existing. Yeah. With this one too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is existing. Okay. Yeah, what love? This one, this one, this two are not love. This will be lecture. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this the, 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 the. If it's not going to be adequate uh. for our growing population. Any independent investigation of the biases of Professor Andrew Haruna, who is represented here by the Dean Faculty of uh, Science, Professor Shatima Bukhari, and I'll give him to also introduce himself. Let me first and foremost start by welcoming our respected guests to our meetings this morning. And uh, before we could add anything, as, as rightly in observe, we we'll want to introduce ourselves to you so that you will know those of us that are on the ground. Let me also observe that we all do know that this is the period of COVID-19. And because of that, we are really handicapped that not all of us could be here to welcome you this morning. And it's on that basis that our Vice Chancellor, who is the Chief Executive of this University, Professor Andrew Aruna, has directed that I should come and represent him at this sitting to welcome you all to our prospering university. And of course, some of our members, as you could see, had to come from varying places to see that they are able to welcome you. Not many are here, which I believe you can understand. On that basis, the few of us that are here will introduce our name. My name is Professor Shatima Abdikadu Saidu, as rightly observed, and uh, the Dean Faculty of Science. Thank you. My name is uh, Abed Isabu, uh, Deputy Registrar Establishment, representing the Registrar Commission of the Thank you. My name is Professor Gloria Taidu. Dean of Faculty of Arts, Art, Development, and Social Sciences. I am Professor Mr. Rolakke Komodola, Kolaj Akimuki, Dean Faculty of Arts. I am Engineer Samuel S. Shula, the Action Director of Arts. My name is Engineer Issa Sainikwa, the Chief of the my name is Dr. Acting Director, School of Senior Studies. I'm M.S. Mahmoud, Senior Spiritual Officer of the University, representing the Chief Spiritual Officer. My name is Engineer Haruna Gegeshua. I'm a Chief Civil Engineer, assisting the Director of Works. Uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, Mr. Chief Chancellor, Mr. Chief Chancellor, and the representatives, the senior management of the university. Uh, I belong to the middle manager, so I will call my middle managers, my colleagues in the middle management, my consultants, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, there's been discussion, real discussion with management and of this university and the bank. Um, 
which led to the selection of Federal University Geshua as a beneficiary of the CBN intervention project. The central bank, as part of its developmental function and drive in that vision, the 2020 vision, the financial system vision, and in the need to make Nigeria the financial hub of Africa, and West Africa in particular, has over the years engaged in supporting educational sectors to build capacity, capacity that will be able to sustain and promote all of those developmental initiatives. What we've been doing is to select schools within the geopolitical region um, and build infrastructures. Those infrastructures must have direct contribution to learning and learning services um, delivery, which has to do with classrooms, lecture theaters, hostel block, clinic, um, you know, buildings within schools, and some other infrastructural support to all of those buildings. We do that yearly since 2009. And for um, after some of those engagements, um, Gesh Federal University Gesha was selected of our 2020 beneficiary. And in view of that, what the CBN has done is to engage, of course, it was included in the budget for this 2020 our capital budget. We engage our list of consultants that are required to provide all the necessary. Uh, designs, support, supervisions, and all of that. And we engaged them, and then we had to commence um, pre-contract activities. Uh, sometimes in February, a team from the Central Bank visited this university. They actually came for a need assessment, where we engage with you, you tell us some of your critical needs, where the bank will intervene. And when we did that, um, after that need assessment, we had a series of engagements with, with the university management, and we agreed on three major areas, hostel blocks, um, the clinic, and the laboratories. We had a series of documentation between us and the university so that we can actually know the priority. We like to intervene where it will immediately, like quick wins to the school to support you know, capacity building. So what we are doing here, we've engaged the consultants. What we came to do is to do a reconnaissance visit, introduce our consultants to the environment, to the owners of the environment, to the operators, and then we have a discussion. We do like, um, a condition survey which we have already which was we started because we needed to get ourselves acquainted with the environment of the school look at some of the ongoing developments of the school look at some of the functional uh, facilities and infrastructure that are available within the school that will inform and you know give us enough information to you know further have this engagement with you um the condition survey will include you know also give you some of the early conceptual, uh, conceptual things that we have done. Some of the, we need to ascertain some of the uh, parameters and um, information that we have. We also need to discuss with you what we are looking at, what, some of the reg like regulations, standards, um, requirements, some policies in the schools, <coughs> like policies that deal with where hostels must be located, where this must be, uh, where services are. Some schools I think they come with all of those things. And to also discuss with you, probably if you if you have those things so that um, the CBN does somehow a kind of evaluation, post evaluation, we would like to know I have intervened in this school. Did they benefit from what I have given them? How far, to what extent? Some school will tell you this is the NUC requirement that this is I would I'd love to have data like if we do this posters, what would, how would that um, meet up with the N NUC requirements? NUC has a standard for, for accommodation of students. How would that meet up with that requirement? How would that fit into your master plan? How would that um, you know, enable you to achieve certain, if this laboratory will allow you to get certain certification or what you, accreditation. 
if that will allow you have this accreditation, we would like to also have this information because it's part of some of the things we would like give the stakeholders who take this decision and say, look, if you do this for this university, these are what they are likely to benefit and it's likely to impact and give them, you know, further invite other people to invest, to collaborate with them. And that's one of the major <coughs> reasons why we're here. We've done some preliminary discussion. We've been engaging with some of your professionals and then it's only fair they would also tell you some of the things they've discussed with us. We'll also share with you some of the things that we we'll have, we'll be sharing it. And then we hope that once we all do this engagement, we'll have a better idea when we leave here. We're doing the pre-contract uh, session, we've commenced. This is the official <coughs> commencement of that pre-contract for us. It will involve us doing designs, you know, getting more information, doing design and all of that. Then they will all <coughs> submit to the clients and then we'll further engage with you. I will hopefully, when all of that goes through the approval of the, of the bank, the bank has several layers of decision making. When all those authorities are taking their decision, we can go with the procurement and then we'll get back to you. <coughs> Some of the decisions, may not, uh, we cannot ne not take them yet. Some of the decisions are for management to, and the stakeholders to decide. But all the technical information, all the constraints, challenges, risks, an assessment that we will do with you here is for, to enable us give you a beautiful and I mean <coughs> a value add product that will help the school uh, <coughs> when it is done. Thank you <coughs> very much. Um, for this assignment, there was an official letter that I'm supposed to issue to the vice chancellor, our representative which is uh, just officially informing you that a team from the bank will be visiting the school and then they will uh, you know, carry out some of those things and convey to you what the bank is have agreed, just a previous discussion. And then please will acknowledge for us on this. Team leader. From the... Central Bank Engineer Zweru Abdurrahman Respected Professional Consultants Constituting the team for the Central Bank Projects The Deputy Registrar Establishment representing the Registrar Mala Ahmad Nguru Respected Deans of our various faculties here with us Heads of Departments and Units Gentlemen of the press, respected ladies and gentlemen. Today is really a day that we all stand to remember. Let me, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor of this prospering university, Professor Andrew Haruna, who unavoidably could not make it to this setting due, of course, to the current COVID-19 lockdown. Welcome each and every one of us to this historic occasion. This setting is historic in so many sense. To the best of my knowledge, though the knowledge is not far, this is the first time that I could say the Central Bank of Nigeria is coming to intervene in the progress of our Boston University. 
And when you choose to come, you come in style. Because from what I've seen on the ground, I'm beginning to wonder if you are not coming to really double the already existing projects on the ground. I want to register our sincere appreciation to the Central Bank. You've done well to us. And really, your airport is a clear indicator for our boarding university to stand to its expectation as a citadel of learning. <clears throat> Let me also sincerely appreciate those individuals and all organizations that have played one role or the other to see to the actualization of these projects today. There are so many, and we cannot go calling them by names. The least is to say that our Senate President, who is a son of the soil, in whose constituency we are all here today, we believe has tremendously helped to actualize this project. This morning, his representative was here, who also doubles us, the Honorable Commissioner for Budget Planning in your best state, added, of course, to his status as SSA to the Senate President. He was here with us earlier in the day, and he moved around with us to go and identify the suitable locations for these projects. Unfortunately, even as we are doing the identification, there was so much pressure from the headquarters wanting him back immediately because they are already sitting to consider the budgets for the state. And he, being the Honorable Commissioner in charge, has all the documents for that matter. So he has table in his apology for also not being here to sit with us. We appreciate the Senate President, we appreciate his representative, and of course, we cannot close it without appreciating the host community, especially the dynamic leadership of His Royal Highness, my Omar Suleiman, who has always worked assiduously to ensure that the community develops. Federal University Gashua inclusive. We are most appreciative. Having said that, let me observe that bringing the projects we did to our university, comprising of hostel accommodations for male and female students, a 20 bed university clinic and myriads of laboratories are actually coming in at the most suitable time expected. As you can see, ours is a young university. As we are talking this same year, but for COVID-19, we should be talking about meeting up with the accreditation requirements of some of our academic programs that are under interim status with the National Universities Commission. And believe you me, some of these projects you are bringing are all that it takes 
for us to get the full accreditation. So it's really a timely intervention. May I also use the opportunity to inform our August visitors that as it is, NUC has already approved the resource visitation for some of the new programs the university want to run. Specifically, our next target is to establish a faculty of education added to the postgraduate school that is also coming up soon enough. Now specifically for the faculty of education, you know that is what you could regard as an open faculty that will virtually accommodate almost all the other programs that are taught in this university. Only that they will all come with the teacher training catch. So, getting more hostels means meeting up with the challenges of new students. Getting more laboratories means meeting up with the challenges of existing and new courses. And of course, getting the clinic ensures that we are all healthy and remain so COVID-19 existing or not. Therefore, we look at these projects as the most vital projects that this university looks up to, and we appreciate that. Our appeal is like it's been observed that since the package is holistic, we should try to tidy up all the necessary nitty gritties such that tomorrow we will have the projects and we'll just be ready to use them. We are also appealing where it could be accommodated. Looking at the arid terrain here, and looking at the challenges we keep getting in terms of power or energy provision, that you should please try to look at the possibility of encrusting solar energy provision into these structures so that with or without the NEPA or PHCN challenges will at least remain functional. On that note, we want to once more sincerely appreciate your coming. We look forward to a fruitful relationship and we hope at the end of the exercise each and every one of you that has come from far and near will go back to their respective places, safe and sound. Thank you very much and God bless. Just to let you know that um, we will we'll, we'll take this to the Deputy Governor okay. uh, on whose uh, directorate we are for him to and as just deliver it to him on your behalf. And I also wish to, on behalf of my colleague, thank the university for their hospitality. And uh, since yesterday we came in, we uh, enjoyed your hospitality and we cannot remove it. I mean, the best we can have, we got it. And thank you on, on their behalf. Thank you. And uh, please express that to the uh, Vice Chancellor. I will do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Senior visitor said, Prefers uh, talking while standing. I think uh, I will follow soon. Uh, first of all, uh, the representative of the vice chancellor, our visitors from the CBN, deans, professors, and other technical staff from the university, uh, I want to welcome you by saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Uh, I want to, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, staff and students of the Federal University Geshwa, thank you for your visit. 
and appreciate the commitment because we have seen the commitment of all members of the team uh, for probing us on so many things. They ask so many questions. If you show them this road leads to so so place, they ask you another question. Uh, that is a wonderful job. I know they are doing that not to antagonize us, but to be sure that what they are here for has been actualized. I want to thank you for that. Secondly, I want to also thank you for accepting the little that we've given you in terms of accommodation and feeding. I have been with the team since yesterday. I have seen their patience because we were not expecting them at the time they came. They came very early and uh, by then their meal, which was supposed to be dinner, was not ready. So we gave them dinner instead of giving them lunch first. So I hope uh, you will be here with us. Uh, finally, I want to beg or appeal to the team. Uh, I'm happy they came physically. They have seen the terrain. And uh, I know somebody coming from the south or from uh, the Abuja axis uh, will know that we are really in Sambisa. <laughs> and um, I hope they will appreciate what they have seen. And that will be a launching pad for them to appeal to other uh, donor agencies to come to our aid in the development of the university. Once again, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, staff, and students of the Federal University of Joshua, I welcome you and wish you joining message back to your various destination. Thank you.